So this is officially, by the numbers, my best duck season ever. <laughs> Guys, this is Zach, the Driven Outdoors. Uh, I'm gonna do a hunt today that I thought would be really interesting for a long time. I'm hunting the Mississippi River. Me and Calvin are going. Calvin's girlfriend Bailey's coming along to hang out, but not to hunt. Um, we scouted this yesterday. I think it's gonna be a cool hunt, but we got about an hour till shooting time, so we're gonna go ahead and get to it. Well, this is my first hunt ever in this boat. Uh, I've had this boat for a couple of years. It took a while to get the blind all set up on it. Off my old boat, fitted to the new one you know the whole nine yards so this is the uh boat's first duck hunt with me oh this is the first hunt out of this blind there's some birds moving i don't we weren't able to get the boat all the way against the shore because it's heavy and then got really shallow but uh we'll see if we can hide good enough here i'm not sure if we had enough camo I'm not sure if the birds are gonna like it but we're gonna find out yeah, there are some ducks right there I'm not sure how well we're blending in here, but so there's some extra tail end of camo netting on that side. Yep. I'm gonna kind of drape that sort of over the motor and over your right side there. there you go. A little bit better. Yeah. yeah. So now we have two heaters running. This is gonna be this has gotta be the warmest duck boat on the Mississippi River right now. There are ducks up. Oh, there's two. They just landed. About they're out of range. They just landed against that bank. Oh, there's a whole bunch over there. Do you see them? There's a whole bunch against that bank. Oh, yeah. See it in the decoys? Mm -hmm. Far into the decoys. Shoot it. I got the one on my right. Get up! Hey! Get up, birds! Come on! Shoot it. Get that one, get that one, get it on the right. Calvin, sit in the water. Finish off. Finish off, it'll be yours. Get it. There we go. Sweet. You did it. Good job. Three birds. Decided to pick up some fresh ammo out. What did it do? It shot out of shell. Move at the birds real quick on the water. Just watch, watch for ducks. They've like they've been liking to come in this way. So just watch. They might still try and hook in this way. Uh, we got three ducks down. Looks like they're all green wing teal, I believe. Holy crap, that's a pretty one. Look at that. That's a pretty green wing. All right, so I got, I got two and Calvin. They just landed right there, right next to the carcass of their buddies. Shoot, shoot. That's another pretty green wing drake. Duck number three is over here. I just found a log. That was stupid. I'm all paranoid about tripping on another log. Oh, guess what? Another stud green wing drake. Another thing that is special about the two ducks that I just shot, been following the channel, my duck record, 
first season was 23 ducks. I was sitting at 22. I got number 23 and 24. And Calvin's on the board today too. So, this year's tops. I wish I was carrying my gun with me picking them ducks up because I would have killed like three or four more. That heater's nice. It is nice. And like, I think these canvas walls keep the heat in a little more. Probably isn't as miserable as your first duck, huh? Uh-uh. That's good. Yeah, right when you put them out, the heat it is a little bit warmer. It's still magic, man. That's probably the first time a lady's ever called him that. <laughs> no, I said that's the first time a lady's ever called you that. Guys are like, oh, you fixed my boat. Thanks for working on the truck. Ladies are like, ew, don't touch me. <laughs> roast. We roast. We roast people in this family. Oh, it is working. Look at that. Yeah, I think that one. So I called it the mad. His, was it the mad empty? It was, but it's close. But it's close. So this is the first hunt out of this boat blind on this boat. This is my boat blind on my old boat. Sold that boat. <laughs> Never really messed around getting this fitted to this boat until this year. Still, I still want to tweak a few things, but I bought this Ottertex canvas to make an inner liner. Calvin actually helped me make this liner, make it into a tarp. And uh, it holds the heat in pretty good. That top cover, now the top cover is designed to go all the way down, close you in completely. So when the ducks come, you can like flip the top up. But we used bungee cords to kind of keep it like a, uh, what do you call it? Call it like a dugout type of style. So it's actually kind of nice that way too. I feel like this is like the luxury duck hunting that I never get to do. Like I'm never like almost never eating donuts in the blind, never having heaters and just drinks. And surprisingly, we found out, I just opened this top cover a minute ago, and it was notably colder when I did that. I was very surprised how much camo netting with a little bit of grass on it holds heat in. So I've opted to go for a little walk through the timber here, and I know there's a pool back here that we couldn't get to with the boat yesterday, so I kind of want to Take a look at that. I hear some geese on it. There's some geese right up this thing over here. There's some geese against the bank up here. Let me see if I can shoot them while I still have battery left. Well, I just got two geese by low crawling up to them pretty much. Oh God, that's sticky. That is sticky. So I heard these geese on this, on this pond, on the slough back here. And I was like, man, I don't know if I can get to them. So I low crawled, low crawled up, up this bank here behind me and found two that were sitting right next to each other killed those two and then missed the third goose so goose limited I'm exhausted sorry I said to go get the geese Whew. out of shape a little bit the goose limit is three per person in Iowa this time of year so there's two for me um, they'll add to the goose pastrami pile once I once I make some goose pastrami so it'll be good heck yeah I think I'm gonna go walk back to Calvin and Bailey drop these geese off here Hopefully the batteries have not been I'm on the last leg for the batteries for the GoPro and the shot cam batteries didn't want to work. So I don't know if I got the action on camera or not. We'll see. My boat line doesn't look amazing, but it's serviceable. Anyway, I know a few little 
improvements I could do to it, but <clears throat> excuse me, I'll probably get to that. I don't know, maybe in the off season. I'm gonna re camo that boat at some point. Ready? Ready? Kill him. Go. Well, I was trying to get GoPro batteries changed in time, but they didn't get changed in time. I had an ice group teal come in. Calvin and I think we got two out of it. We're seeing two dead ducks out there. So we're gonna go pick those birds up and then we'll know for sure. I'm not sure if we actually did get more than one. And that's a log that I thought was a duck. I'd be really shocked if that's not more birds, but okay. These things happen. I think that's your duck, Calvin. You hating your life out here or what? No, I'm just hungry and tired. Hungry and tired? Dozen teal that just flew by. Get your gun ready. Give me mine while you're at it. They went down somewhere else. You have to be more with nature. Yep. <laughs> Okay, what do you think we pick up now? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's been a little bit, <clears throat> and uh, Calvin got, uh, so Calvin got a teal, another one, and so we're at two teal per person, and I've got two geese off this, this back slough that's like 400 yards behind us. But anyway, this has been fun. This has been a whole different experience. It's a really cool hunt. It's a cool area. Um, it's been like a hunt the Mississippi River is neat, and just... I don't know. It's cool. It's like there's, I don't know. I always like rivers anyway, but like, it's almost like you're taking part in a historical place to hunt birds. So it's neat.